Well, my name is uh, Dr. Artem Weidman. I'm a spine specialist at Neurological Surgery PC. Um, my practice, about 99.9% .9 is related to disorders of the spine. And most patients that I see have the multitude of problems that hurt them. You know, back problems are the most common reason for people to lose work and to be in pain, to take pain meds, to become disabled. And I think it's the second most common reason why people seek attention short of a headache. I specialize in some of the minimally invasive uh, surgical procedures that patients can get. It's not necessarily that they will qualify for them, but I definitely try to do it as much as possible, in particular for aging patients since they are associated with better outcomes, lesser risks of infection, muscle injury, and chronic back pain as a result of surgery itself. A lot of patients that I see have already failed non-surgical treatment. As a result, they can't really choose that anymore because they already did it. Some of them have not, and uh, some of them choose to have that first. But most of the time when I discuss surgery, I discuss what surgery is going to bring to them. In terms of treatments that we offer, like I said, the main goal is to get the patient mobile, ambulatory, and out of the hospital as soon as possible. That's what minimally invasive surgery tries to accomplish because there is less associated pain after surgery that's caused by surgery itself, by cutting, by you know, injuring muscle, by doing very significant amount of work, even though some patients do require a significant amount of surgery to get better. I think the most important thing for anybody who has back problems is to understand that uh, even though uh, the current trend in medicine is to emphasize non-surgical treatments. You have to understand that non-surgical treatments are not solutions. Non-surgical treatments, by and large, are usually temporizing measures, where you have a problem and you can take medications for your problem or you can do things for your problem, but it's not going to solve your problem. It's going to treat the symptoms that you have, but won't solve what's causing the symptom. Surgery, on the other hand, solves the issue. However, it is risky.